Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of May the 1st to May the 8th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends that I put out here every week on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. And every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, you can get that in a private reading. So I welcome and invite you to go up there and press that button, and it will take you to my website. We start our week, Aquarius, on Monday with an Earth card, and you have been given the Two of Earth. And Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives and often our jobs, careers, and how we bring that abundance and currency into our lives. But it is an Earth card that can have to do with the ecosystem, nature, and Mother Earth, and our closest circle, which is our immediate families. This is telling me that there's a lot of work. There's a lot of things going on right now, a lot of things going on right now for some of you. And there is a need for you to make an important decision. When you make this decision, please make it in a lighter, more playful manner. Air card for Tuesday, 10 of air. Air cards have to do with the injustice that people bring into our lives. They stir the pot up and we have to make fair and just decisions and choices, uh, you know, around these individuals and or legal issues. If some of you are dealing with lawyers and courts and so on. But I want you to know, for some of you, that this is the end of that difficult situation. And you need to know that change is coming in now. And you need to embrace that change. And expect things now are going to get better on your path. This is also about the recovering of an addiction for some of you. Crowning your week on Wednesday is an Earth card again. And this is the Night of Earth. And this is telling me that there's things that you need to do and you need to buckle down. And they were talking on Monday about a lot of work and too much work going on and making a decision. This is talking about buckling down and getting things done and honoring your commitments. But this is a card where the guardian angel has her hand on your back saying, we can get it done because I'm here to help together. Queen of Earth for Thursday. So this is telling me that um, you're going to be making time for people around you. And they're telling me that these people are in your immediate circle and perhaps they are members of your family. They show me that there may have been a little bit of a conflict here with these individuals and a locking of horns. So this is time for you now to get together with these people and take a sensible approach. And when you do that, deal with any challenges now with these individuals in a kinder and understanding manner. That will be the resolution to this. A little bit of a separation that you've had. Water, King of Water for Friday. Relationship cards and sometimes they're romantic and sometimes they're not. But this is telling me that you are again and how ironic next to the Queen of Earth that you're going to open your heart and your mind to those around you. Okay? And you're going to be getting some heartfelt and trustworthy advice from a King of Water. And this King of Water, he may be a Scorpio, pardon me, he may be a Cancer, a Scorpio, and a Pisces individual. You're going to be getting some trustworthy and heartfelt advice from him. I do see some of you also getting involved in some charitable type of work, giving to others. Ego. Well, this is the second time this has come up. This is not my favorite card in the deck. And this is a major, major card. And this is about the entrapment and feeling that, you you know, you're entrapped in the situation. And, um, you know, fault, it's all false anxiety, okay? Um, you need to ask spirit to take these fears away and send positive and send positive energy out into the universe. Stop focusing on the material things in your life that you need uh, because you're going to get out of balance. <coughs> Actually, what you're craving is inner peace. And the refusal to face the truth or take personal responsibility for a situation, it can lead to dependency, it can lead to excessive debt, it can lead to escapism. Okay, so please know this is a false sense of entrapment. There is an issue, a situation in your life, uh, an emotional issue that you need to deal with at hand, the root issue. Because often we put these things in the back of our mind, we ignore them, and we don't want to deal with them at that time. And the minute they start to creep into our minds and our heads, we run off and do something to um, be a distraction. Maybe we go on a major shopping spree and buy a large priced item that afterwards we get home and we pull our hair out of the roots and say, well, 
I shouldn't have done this. Why did I do this? I felt so good at the moment. So it's the bandage fix card that I talk about all the time. So <coughs> please, please, please deal with the issue at hand, the root issue, and you won't be out there regretting later that you did something that you shouldn't have done. Six of air for Sunday, the end of the week, another justice card. And now they're telling me that any of you that have had these issues, you've been dealing with the courts or legal issues or the injustice coming in, now things are looking up for you. And now it's beginning to be the end of this difficult situation. Also, they show me some of you are taking a trip over a large body of water and perhaps in a boat. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card and I chose the messages from our our daily messages from our angels deck and this is what they gave you reconsider so I don't have to say much I'm sure some of you know what that is uh, if you've been thinking of doing something this is a definite definite card to deter you from that and make you sit back take a deep breath and reconsider what it is you want to do also, I incorporated that one quote card, and this is a message just for you, Deck, and I've had some great response on it, and this is the message that you, the mini quote you've been given. Success is what happens after you've survived all of your mistakes. I wish you a great remainder to today, Aquarius, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, my friend. See you again next week, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.